Let's take a look at these other errors. This one is some files and directories in your install are writable by the server. Since we're on a local machine, the permissions for our files are pretty loose. Fixing the permissions in our files would come into play more when these files are on a server that's publicly accessible. So this is something that we'd want to tackle then. And this is normally something that's in the domain of the developer. Another error is that untrusted users are allowed to input dangerous HTML tags. We're going to tackle this one last. So let's look at this last error here. Neither base URL nor trusted host patterns is set. The idea behind trusted host patterns is that it sets which domains are allowed to submit a form to your site. This again is a setting that's more important when a site goes live, but it's meant to curb the effect of what happens when a form from one site gets submitted to another site. Not setting the trusted host patterns can leave your site vulnerable to certain types of attack that leverage existing users on the site. This again is more in the domain of the developer to configure. Now let's talk about this one. Untrusted users are allowed to input dangerous HTML tags. And if we click on details, it says that it's recommended that you remove the following tags from roles accessible by untrusted users. So that's anonymous and authenticated users for us right now. And it's the image tag. So to understand the purpose of this check, we also need to understand text formats in Drupal. So we've been using text formats this whole time. If we go to create a piece of content, I'll add a basic page. I'm going to set the title to delete me. Right here, we can choose which text format to use. And we explored these briefly earlier on in the series. Changing the text format most obviously changes what buttons are available in the WYSIWYG. So if we switch from basic HTML to full HTML, we now see quite a few more buttons up here. If we switch to restricted HTML, then the WYSIWYG disappears altogether and we get a simple text area. What's actually happening with the text format has a little bit more depth though. Let's take a look at how these are configured. So I'm going to go to configuration, content authoring, and text formats and editors. So here are the different text formats. You can see the three that we were just looking at, basic, restricted, and full HTML. Plus there's a fourth one that displays only if no other formats are available. And this is just for plain text. 